Set in the fictional town of Hawkins in Indiana, Stranger Things Season 1 tells the story of Will Byers and his disappearance and the subsequent search for him and discovery of a young girl who goes by the name of Eleven. Eleven has been the subject from birth of experiments at the local Hawkins Department of Energy which is a cover for the experiments that they've been doing. These experiments are based on the real life, however loosely based on the real life, of um, experiments that are alleged to have happened in Montauk, which is why I believe that the yeah, experiments are known as MK Ultra. Eleven's mum had named her Jane, and uh, now, unfortunately, Terry Ives, who is the Eleven's mom, her brain has been turned to mush by years of experimentation using LSD and other e hallucinatory drugs. Season one covers this period of time of around about a week, um, and includes the local police chief Hopper and Will's mom. Joyce and her, his brother Jonathan and a local girl by the name of Nancy who is Mike Wheeler's mom. Mike Wheeler and his friend Dustin um, as well as many others try to find Will and discover via 11 that he is in a place that gets to be known as the Upside Down this was originally going to be known as the Nether, which kind of ties in with things like the Conjuring Universe uh, being called the Further. It is set some time in 1983, and the, as the different seasons have progressed, it has covered 1984 and 1985. In season two, we discover that there is a new monster, Eleven having managed to get rid of the original monster, which was named after the Dungeons and Dragons monster, the Demogorgon. This happened in the final episode of Season 1, whereby Eleven herself disappeared. At the beginning of Season 2, we discover that Eleven did not die along with the Demogorgon, and is actually briefly still trapped in the Upside Down, which seems to be an alternative reality version of Hawkins, Indiana. Eleven manages to have escaped the Upside Down and was discovered eventually by Hopper, who hides her away from the world, including away from Mike, in a cabin in the woods which is a little bit of a horror trope. Over the course of the season 2, we discover a new version of the Demigorgon, which Dustin names Dart, which he also names as a Demidog. We also discover another monster, which gets named as the Mind Flayer, which is another monster that is notable from Dungeons & Dragons. The Mind Flayer eventually manages to take over the body of Will Byers. The Mind Flayer likes to keep things cold, and the only way to be able to get him out of Will Byers' body is to turn up the heat. In the meantime, some kind of romance starts to happen between Steve, who is Nancy Wheeler's boyfriend, and Nay Dustin, who go up against the Demodog and discover that there are more than just one Demodog and that these Demodogs are a hive mind with the mind buyer. So this essentially turns Will Byers into a kind of spy for the mind player. Roll on, like a couple of years later, or at least a couple of years later, and we now have season three. Season three takes things away from Will a little bit as the yeah, boys are now all growing up and are 
very soon, hopefully, to be heading towards high school. All of these dear boys have now discovered um, romantic feelings for the opposite sex. Mike Wheeler has now started a relationship with Eleven, who was officially adopted via um, help from Dr Owens from the Department of Energy at the end of season two. Uh, there is no more reference to number eight or to any other children who were kidnapped and are experimented on in season three. So anybody who was interested in exploring any more in regards to eight and what happened when Neil left Hawkins and went off to find her sisters um, and other children that have been experimented on um, isn't explored. However, Eleven is now friends with Max, who we discovered in season two, had moved into Hawkins with her like step brother Billy. Billy takes a much larger role in season three, and uh, we discover that the Mind Flayer may not have been gotten rid of out of Hawkins after all. This Mind Flayer manages to be able to take over not only Billy but the minds of a number of Hawkins residents. These Hawkins residents somehow manage to become a part of the Mind Flayer as well as a bunch of rats that it also manages to disintegrate and incorporate into a physical form of itself. Fortunately, Eleven is able to discover a memory of Billy's when uh, he was a child uh, before things went majorly wrong between his mum and dad and his mum and dad divorced, leading to Billy to become the bully that we saw him being in season uh, two towards Max, who is his stepsister, and the other um, people. Billy manages to have a redemption arc at the end of the season three, and unfortunately, Billy doesn't survive because he goes up against the Mind Flayer in defence of Eleven, whose powers unfortunately disappear somewhat due to the uh, Mind Flayer managing to wear. Uh, infiltrate her body and due to the stresses of the fight in the final episode. There are only eight episodes in season one and season three as opposed to the nine episodes in season two. Despite um, the criticism that has been leveled towards these seasons so far, I personally believe that these episodes and these seasons are improving with each season that comes. The saddest thing that I find other than Billy having uh, given his life to save Max, Eleven and the boys in the final battle, um, the other tragic thing that happened is the possibility that Hopper died um, and was unable to be rescued by Joyce when she managed to figure out how to turn both keys to destroy the key that was the opening the gate that Elle managed to close at the end of season two. So as to whether or not Hopper is actually dead or not due to the post credit scene that happened whereby the Russians said no not the American this leaves it open for debate as to whether or not Hopper managed to jump through the uh, opening that was still available in the gate. Um, the final episode ended not only with this post credit scene but showing Eleven and near uh, the Byers family all leaving Hawkins. This does not necessarily mean to say that they will stay away from Hawkins. The boys are all now split up with the, with Eleven and near the buyers all leave, leaving Hawkins, but this does not mean to say that they will not get back together during the holiday period. Considering that the previous two seasons, one and two, have covered a, the period between like around Thanksgiving and Christmas and Halloween, and 
season three covered a period over summer, we are now expecting the possibility of covering the spring period and possibly more into winter because we basically covered what the Americans refer to as fall and a little bit of winter towards the end of season one and near season two and also summer and the opening of here is something that's very popular both here in England and in America, the mall or shopping centre as we refer to it. What will happen in season four and whether or not Stranger Things will progress beyond season four into season five at least is yet to be seen. But the way the post credit scenes ran meant that there is a possibility, a high possibility, considering how many people watched it when it first went live on the Netflix streaming service, that it is going to be greenlit for there to be a season four, and for things such as Hopper returning from having been caught by the Russians if he did have managed to make it back through the gate, unfortunately, in Kachanka, Russia, um, we do know that... There is a demigorgon which is being fed e other people and there may be a possibility that the mind player is not completely gone because of how it can re how it can generate itself from taking over the bodies of humans and yeah, the demi dogs might be back as well. So we will all see in the future what happens. But keep your eyes peeled because it could be at least 2021 before we see anything else. But the whole of next year and the rest of this year will probably be taken over with rumours and speculation as to what happens. Thank you for listening to this review. I have tried to cover as much as I could from the three seasons that we've had. Including trying to skip over the um, ill-fated the episode 7 in season 2 that people didn't like very much because of how it moved away from Hawkins so we hope that if this happens again in season 4 in, with the buyers and 11 leaving Hawkins that it will be somewhat more successful and yeah, be able to expand the se series in episodes if you like me doing these reviews please leave a thumbs up in the yeah on this video also leave a comment and need to subscribe if you haven't already and please share on social media such as facebook and twitter and i will see you again soon for another review bye